Let's see what all I picked up from TargetCon 2024. Hey everyone, welcome into Jar's Toy Emporium. My name is Jacob, and today I finally got my order from TargetCon 2024 in, so I figured it'd be a great opportunity to show you guys some of the things that I picked up. Now, if you aren't familiar, TargetCon is actually an event that Funko does every single year where they partner with Target, and they release a few more exclusive pops that are exclusive only to Target, but these ones also have an even more special sticker than the normal Target exclusive sticker. All in all, I really love TargetCon every time of the year because I think it's a really great opportunity for a lot of people that don't really get to go to cons. If you live in an area that doesn't usually have a whole lot and you don't have access to those Funko exclusive events, this is a little way that you can actually have some exclusive pops in your collection that you might not normally be able to get. Because as we all know, Target is a very big distributor, especially of Funko Pops. They get a lot of really great Target exclusives, so I think it's cool that Funko does give them even more because they do such a great job of selling all sorts of other pops. Now while all these pops are exclusive to Target, the nice thing about this is you actually can order these either on Target's website or some of them are now available on the Funko website as well. This is awesome because if you're like me and live kind of in the middle of nowhere where you don't really have a target close to you, this is an option that you have so you can still secure some of those pops that you'd like to have in your collection. All in all, I think we really did get a great selection of pops this year and I'm very excited to show you the first one that I picked up and that is actually the Last Ronin comic cover. Now, as you guys know, the Last Ronin was one of my favorite pops of the year. It actually took home the number one spot in my top five non-Freddy Funkos. So obviously, I was very excited to add this one to my collection. And one of my favorite things about it is they actually took the time to change the mold up a little bit. If you guys do remember on that pop, it is a little bit different looking than this one that we got in the comic cover. And I absolutely love when Funko goes the little bit extra effort just to show that they did change up some things and that it's not the exact same pop inside of this comic cover. I do have to say, I think the comic covers are are some of my favorite items that Funko has and if they didn't take up quite as much space as they do I think I'd have a whole lot more of them in my collection however whenever I do get a bigger studio I think that is definitely one thing I'm going to purchase more of is get some more of these comic covers because I think they look really great when you do take them out of their little sleeve and you do hang them up on the wall I think they're a great art piece and I think this last Ronin comic cover is no different so the second and last thing that I actually happened to pick up was this awesome Princess Leia pop and tea bundle I think this thing is really really cool I love pop and tea bundles. I think they are so awesome, and I am a sucker for these Funko t-shirts. I think they are some of my favorite things to wear. I wear them almost every single day after I get home from work, but this pop is actually really great as well. I have actually not collected any of the retro toy series pops like this one or the comic series pops like this one other than the Luke Skywalker and the Boba Fett comic covers. I do have both of those in my collection. However, I have not picked up the Luke Skywalker individual pop or anything like that. So those are some that I'm going to have to pick up in the future just to continue to add to this comic series. But guys, this is one of the best Funko t-shirts that I think I've ever seen. I was absolutely stoked when I saw what this thing was going to look like. And I got to say, this t-shirt feels even better, higher quality than most of the Funko t-shirts. The print on here is really, really good. It feels like a great shirt and it has really soft. I was a little bit surprised because sometimes the Funko t-shirts can vary a little bit in their comfort and quality level. I hate to say it, but they do. This one is a very nice one. So I think that is awesome that it came in this great pop and tea bundle. Again, I'm going to have to add to this retro series comic line. I think they are really, really cool. And if you guys didn't know, we are actually getting a Ben Kenobi comic cover that is going to go great with that Luke Skywalker and the Boba Fett. I'm showing you guys that on screen. I think that's going to be really cool and I think all three of those together are going to look great on a wall whenever I finally do have that opportunity. However, those are the only two things that I picked up from TargetCon. Again, I think there are some really other great items out there. I'm not a big Sesame Street fan. However, I thought the Elmo on Trike, the flocked Elmo on Trike was a super, super cool pop. I know a lot of people were very excited about the Shadow and Amy flocked two-pack for Sonic. Those will go great with that Knuckles and Sonic that we have gotten flocked in the past so I think a lot of people were excited about that one however these were the two that I had to add to my collection and I gotta say that pop and tea bundle was heavily influenced by the t-shirt because I think the t-shirt is really cool however after getting the pop in hand I definitely think I'm gonna have to add the rest from this line to my collection as well but that is all I picked up so I'd love to know down in the comment section below if you guys happen to pick up anything from this year's Target Con again I think they had some really great options and a lot of cool stuff so let me know down in the comment section below what you all happen to pick up because I love seeing everything that you all added to your collection as well 
If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And again, do not forget to go down in that comment section below and let me know all the awesome things you guys picked up. Now, I know this was a little bit shorter of a video, but I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you guys some of the things that I picked up from TargetCon this year. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and thank you so much for stopping in a Jars Toy Emporium. Bye.